Hi, I'm Nancy B from Nancy B Science Club. Today I'm going to show you how to get an egg in a bottle without breaking it. You can do this experiment at home too, but just make sure you have adult supervision and that you use proper safety protection. I have a question for you. What's inside this bottle? Here's a hint. Don't say nothing. If you said air, you're right. There are tiny pieces of air called air molecules bouncing around inside this bottle. Some of them are pushing up on the egg. Of course, there are air molecules out here too, and some of them are pushing down on the egg. So right now, we say the air pressure is equal. What I'm going to do is to light a flame and drop it inside the bottle. That's going to cause the air inside to heat up, and the air molecules are going to start to move around super fast. Some of them are going to try to escape, and some of them are going to succeed because the seal between the egg and the bottle is not very tight. When I drop the flame into the bottle, watch as the egg bounces up and down as the air molecules escape from the bottle. When the flame went out and the air cooled down, the pressure inside the bottle was less than the pressure outside the bottle. So now the air molecules on the outside of the bottle push the egg into the bottle. Of course, people always ask, how are you gonna get the egg out of the bottle? Well, we need to reverse the process. In order to get the egg into the bottle, we needed to have more air pressure on the outside pushing down. In order to get the egg out, we need to have more air on the inside pushing out. Well, how are we gonna force air into that bottle? Fortunately, we all have a free supply of air in our lungs. You can try this experiment at home. Please post your results at facebook.com slash educational insights. Thank you for watching.